Hello friends, welcome again. And this is my new project, Course Registration System. And I have developed this project in PHP and MySQL. The version for the PHP I'm using is PHP version 7 and MySQL version is 5.6. It's a web application development project. So I have used HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also I have used like for formal editions, creating calendars and creating sliders, integration of the drop down menus. I have used the jQuery plugin. So these all technologies I have used for developing this project course registration system. And it's a major project which has admin as well as the student login, right? So let's start with the functionality, go through that what we have implemented, what we have developed inside this project, right? So the project title is course registration system and it's a major project developed in PHP and MySQL. It's a major DBMS web based project, right? DBMS because we are performing the database operations in this project and we have used the MySQL database, right? So let's start. So this is the home page of the project. You can see this is a simple home page and there is nothing dynamic on it. So all the data is static on this page. This is about us and it's also a static page. And if you want to change the content, you can open the about us.php and you can change the content there. This is all courses and this page is totally dynamic. All the courses are coming from the database, right? So if you want to add more courses, then you can add, you can log in as an admin and you can add, right? You can search the course from here. Like right? if you go into the Java, then you will be able to see all of the course which belong to the Java, right? This is a login from here, admin as well as the student both can log in and perform certain operations for which he has permitted. This is a registration. If uh, a student want to register for the course, then you should must have the user ID and password. Without user ID and password, he will not be able to register for the course. This is a contact us page and this is a static contact us page and I'm not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database. Even I'm not sending it up of email and SMS from this page. So let's start with the admin login. So the user ID is admin and the password is stats. Once you log in, then you will get the admin dashboard. You, this menu will be changed after the login because this is a session driven menu and it renders according to the user session, right? If admin will log in, then admin menu will be displayed. If a student will log in, then a student menu will be different. If no one is logging, then it will be different so it renders according to the session right so you can see these are the options that we can perform at new course station report course report student report and change password right so these operations that we can perform this all operations are available here also right so let me explain you the header menu home i already explained you about us all courses this is a dashboard right this is a add new course right so suppose if you want to add any new courses, then you can use this form for adding the new courses, right? This is a report, right? And from here, you can see all of the reports. So course registration, currently it's not displaying uh, because there is no registration report here. This is a course report, right? All of the courses which uh, the admin, sorry, uh, admin has added will be displayed here. You can edit and update the details from here right you can see the details are coming you can edit and update the details right this is the uh, student report from here you will be able to see all of the students who has registered inside the system there are three students who has registered right so if any new student is registered into the system those data will be displayed here that is student data details will be displayed here this is a change password from where uh, admin can change the password and after changing the password he will be able to log in with his updated password and the logout once user click on this logout button then the whole session will be destroyed and admin will be uh, able to log again and after that he will be able to access this portal right so logout now i am going to log in as a student so the user id is student and password is test so once user means one student is logging, the dashboard will be different and the menu will be different. As I told you earlier, this is a session driven menu. So here, a student can see all of the course details, right? He will be able to see my registrations and he will be able to change password. Now I am going to register for the course. So view details and after that, register for the course, right? So once you click on the register for the course, he will 
the starting date means from when he want to start and the requirements i want to learn about java okay. once it, sorry i think there is an issue in the registration but that will be available right i think there is some issue but it will be fixed right so once a student registered then he will be able to see details in the my registration page right and after that uh, uh, the admin can log in inside the system and he will be able to uh, see all of the registration so let me show you the all registration page again so if student want to register for the python right so the date and from a 31 he want to start i want to learn python right once you click on the submit button you can see that there are two uh, registrations and the user has done one for the java and second one is for the python right so currently it's pending stage right and the color is uh, orange but if i log in right so if admin logins so let me go with the admin if admin logins and see the registration report he can see the details and after that he can approve or reject once you click on the approved then you can see it's saying the approved right if he want to reject then submit then he can see the result right so this is the flow a student will uh, see the course he will be able to apply for the course and admin can reject or approve the entry of the student right so this is the main functionality uh, which we have developed inside this project right if you want to register then you must have the user id and password inside the system right so this all functionalities i have developed inside this project course registration system and as i told you earlier this is a php and mysql web based uh, web based dbms project it's a major project where a student and admin can log in and a student can register see the course details and register for the course right so if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate the changes i will make this project more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects videos on the latest classes thanks for watching the video thank you very much